Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to the prologue for not for broadcast, a game coming to suit. Well, actually, coming soon in January, right there. Boom, you can see it. You can add it to your wish list today. This is a free demo, by the way, that you can play. I've downloaded that one as well. And the developer gave me a full game key as well to do a full playthrough. So if you guys would like to see more, make sure you click, tap, blow up, destroy that like button to support me and my lovely channel. And welcome back to all you lovely people. Welcome to all the new subscribers. You guys are fantastic. I played about 10 seconds of this game, and it was pretty interesting. So I think I want to give it a run. So, uh, again, full playthrough. Make sure you smash like and let me know you want to see more. And uh, download this one for yourself on Steam. All right, let's go ahead and start a new game here. And uh, I guess I'll title it, uh, I guess, Raptor. There we are. Already exists, I see. We'll call it Raptor 1 then. Don't tell anybody. All right, let's start the game. So essentially, we're controlling the evening news of a uh, oppressive government where we have to run ads and uh, make sure we pick between different types of broadcasts and things like that. We're getting a phone call then from our friend who will walk us through everything, so let's see how it all goes. Hi, David. I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. Thank you, ma'am. Right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That colored bar is your audience. Okay. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Right. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio, and you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it, and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled oh. with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch, and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. This is interesting. It controls the blinds, so stuff might happen outside. Maybe there'll be riots and stuff. We have to control what you people see. see. On the broadcast screen that we're in the end tiles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Oh, that didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. So we've got a few seconds. I suppose I ought to warn you that tonight is, as I'm sure you know, election night, which means if we make any mistakes, by which I mean if you make any mistakes... We're getting fired, so stay on your toes, mate. You should be getting the signal any second now. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer, and we're ready to go. Oh, Pour on a mayonnaise. Mm. You don't see if you make me come out in pastures. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You want for me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. Ah, I see. You're trying to kill me. So we can choose to advertise or broadcast this, too. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be the throw to the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flat market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hamsley's wins sports personality of the year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan was chatting with movie star Lawrence Plunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have Here to comes. say on this story. Five, four, three, two, one, now. Lovely night. There we go. Nice. I'm running the news. So now he's getting makeup done and stuff, right, okay. And then apparently we can censor stuff and turn up and down volumes. There's temperature control, what looks to be some sort of a broadcast power meter. Interesting. Alright, not yet. And... Switch to screen one. Now. Perfect. Oh. Now listen, mate, we often get 
a bit of interference around this time of night. So keep your eye on the machine on the bottom right. Oh, Flappy Bird. All right, so now we got to monitor that. We'll watch. Oh, oh man. So this feels a little bit like uh, maybe Papers, Please uh, meets Night Watch. That was an old, old school game long ago that was remastered recently where you got to monitor TV screens. All right, we got 25 seconds. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one and the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. All right, we got five seconds here. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. I need to what? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh. Thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. He doesn't remember anything I tell him. <laughs> I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Me too. Yeah. Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multicam. Multicam. Sequence, which is going to be cutting between multiple oh. cameras to So much information coming in. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. Quiet in the studio. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Ten seconds, everybody. Now, do I have to turn the ad off or is it auto? Okay, I think it turns off automatically. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners in advance. But first off, Megan on screen Megan four. is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare to the Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment... Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. ...latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yeah. Well, as I said to Peter well, at the rack, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. What a wild and you know what, ride this has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie right is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Absolutely Was that a challenge a at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. But it was a complete yes, departure right. from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love. This guy's watching the camera way too much. A love, of course. Been on that show a bit long. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, honestly, who's counting? <laughs> It's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, really although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, like you. I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will Cut bleed. Me. And often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Bleeding. Giving. 
<laughs> a reaction. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it I suppose makes. in the end, I do it for, I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the, people the little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But, um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to <laughs> not fuck things up. Oh, oh. oh. My character, Dr. Lodz Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. And we're out. Wow, this is Watch getting like. Mate. Yeah, I'm watching it. Jeez, this is crazy. Doctor. Twelve things to pay attention to. This is awesome. So now we got to worry about censoring next. You told me. It's like one of those videos that I haven't had to talk much in because there's a lot of interesting stuff going on the screen here in terms of movie trailers, people having mental breakdowns on set. Well, at least we're getting really good ratings. Practice will uh, make perfect, though. I used to run the TV news in high school, so this is really uh, taking me back, I guess, though it wasn't as complicated as this. Yep, 20 seconds. If we should. Okay, all good. All right, here we go. And in five, four, three. Right, I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping our swear words. As you probably notice, the broadcast screen here is about two seconds behind the master screen. Right. Here, when someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep button or the space bar on your keyboard for as long as the swear word lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you've got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over the red line. Simple. Of course, if you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Right. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. As you turn it up, you you'll hear the advert get louder. There's a radio Good. in the car. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, on, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it, and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. And hey, if you come in the dry season, you've got a car park. St. Bombly. Wow, they had to make all these B roll ads and stuff. Screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live. That's too late. You can hey, use the number buttons on your key. One to four. Running the country. Seriously, we've had worse. Five, four. All right, let's three. try this again. Here we go. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome live. Welcome back. To advance and I'm told we can now where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. Oh shit! He's pissed. Get ready to bleed. <laughs> 
thank you all for coming. And, well, where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick they had oh. against us. Oh. The people. Nice. You saw right through their shack. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Hold it down a bit long there, mate. Fights. It makes me... So then the grand is funny. Remember the ten second Perfect. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party's what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better future. Fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shitty pants on and opening their dusted checkbooks. Again, colourfully put, but not inaccurate. Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the Let him have like a full beer. He's a, he has a full beer. Because the likes of you and me and <laughs> Come on. in their gated communities. Tomorrow we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today. We revoked your passport. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise Billions, but you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shite. So to you posh twats, the people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their Perfect. private clubs, the, the people whose children you raise, so they've got time to get even fucking richer, advance have this to say to you, Nailed it. Ends today. we are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards, it ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again. Just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I should just go get pissed. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Only gonna be the word. Well, then. Interesting exception speech there from the leaders of advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Mikey News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Right, looks like Good you've job, got it now. Thanks for help, mate. Ooh. Go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming oh. back. Job's yours, mate. Oh, Good luck. Boring politics, then. This is some weird fever dream. Am I dying now? Or something? You should be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. Not coming for a drink? No, I've got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. Wow. All right. <laughs> this is great. Okay, so we got an A rating. Not too bad. All right, that was a good first start for me. Coming in January. Someone's tripping on me. Alan James is right. We're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our deck. We'll return to the days when you could safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking in through windows and generally enjoying your neighbours. Yeah, that's definitely your job, eh? Gary's a big, and you're just a sad little girl with two games out. Tipped Wank Tony. Yay!
Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to deal with that? Ooh, that's cool. We can customize stuff. Ow! Fucking microphone dropped me. Fucking microphone just dropped me. Where's that sound guy? Okay. This is actually more interesting and enjoyable than I thought it would be, so I must give this one a full playthrough. This is nice. I like this. A, quite an interesting challenge, I would say. Not for broadcast. So the prologue is essentially just like your tutorial mission. So if you want to give that one a try, add it to your wish list and then download on Steam today. I didn't do too bad. A rating? Not bad. Try to go for that A plus on a second playthrough. Let's check and see what's here for uh, extras. Archive and rushes. Okay. I'm assuming this is like a uh, chapter mode where you can go back and replay missions and then rushes is probably like the endless mode where you can just play for as long as you want. So that's quite interesting. All right, folks, I want to give this one a full playthrough. And if you want to give it a full playthrough too or want to see me play it, make sure you get it today or uh, just smash like and let me know you want me to play it. This is a interesting one to play. Kind of hard to do give commentary over because you got to pay so so much attention it feels a lot like papers please in a way in terms of like you know a wave attack of checking things and making sure you know all the broadcast is going well so all right guys i'll see you next time for more thank you for dropping by and i'll see you soon for some more not for broadcast i suppose i'll put my video up when it releases sometime soon goodbye everybody take care and i'll see you next time